What's good, Nympham? I'm delighted to be delving into drafting my first team for the FPL 23-24 season. In today's video, we're going to be running through my current team, my thoughts and consideration on certain players, my checklist, and why I've chosen this team. So let's get started. In the goalkeeper positions, I have plumped for an Anna at his 5 million price tag. He is a nice price point, brought in as De Gea's replacement from Inter Milan. United have 10 very nice fixtures to start with. Barring any potential slip-ups with Arsenal or Spurs, they should be good to have in your team. But one way to consider it is there'll be plenty of save chances at least. As Unana would be my set and forget, I've gone with the budget enabler Areola. Obviously, like all players here, they are subject to change. And eyes are on the Raya Flecking situation at Brentford for the potential 0.5 saving. Well, as to now is Steele after his assist in pre-season. If I settle on Anana, I would be on the United double up at the moment with Shaw. I don't mind it given those nice 10 fixtures I just mentioned. He was one of the mainstays in my team last season and he's looking sharp again this pre-season. I've coupled him with Stones. This is a little risky as you guys know because Stones is definitely an injury risk. However, he had the second highest pass rate behind Akanji last season only coupled with Lindelof and he carries attacking threat too which is what we love to see in an FPL defender even scoring in pre-season. So moving on to my man Saliba I suspect the template is going to be Gabriel here however just hear me out. Gabriel got three goals and 15 bonus points last season where Saliba got two goals one assist and 14 bonus points last season. That was with a sustained amount of time on the sidelines with an injury. So just imagine he stays fit this season, then he could easily match Gabriel for those attacking threats and bonus points. I'm an Arsenal fan and if I go with our defence then Saliba is likely to get my backing. I may waver back to Gabriel but at the moment it's Saliba all the way for me. Being an Arsenal fan is also the reason why I have a stupid nan in my team. I was at the Emirates lately last season whilst he absolutely destroyed my team and I didn't have him in my FPL team so I'm not willing to go without him again at the start of this season especially as Brighton have some of the nicest looking fixtures to start this season. He's just 5 million as well, which is an absolute steal. Tabore is on loan from City and that is why he is the no-faced man in this team, a 4 mil defender that may get some game time for Luton. Potentially, he's just a straight up enabler in this team. I have gone for Saka. Odegaard got 10 more points than Saka last season and I'm absolutely sure the points will be shared out again this season and that has been proven in pre-season too. However, we also don't know how Rice and Timber's dynamics will switch up Odegaard's role this season where I absolutely expect to see Saka continuing on as he did last season and to be honest, he has shown that in pre-season too. Bruno Fernandes is a little cheaper than Rashford. This is a tough choice. It feels a little like the whole Salah, Mane situation of old where we had to choose between them. Right now, I can afford Bruno. He's in pre-season form. But all of this, as you know, could change. This is also the same with my decision between Foden and Grealish. Whilst I think Foden is the more obvious choice, especially with the sale of Mares, it was clear that Grealish had created this kind of bond with Haaland, this understanding towards the end of last season, which could mean that Grealish really pushes on and could be a bit of a differential this season. One to keep an eye on, perhaps. I finished the season with Nciso, so I know his potential. I do think he's much more of a risk than Matoma is for rotation, but given the balance of my overall team, it could be okay to take a few risks. As I said before, Brighton's fixtures are some of the best at the start of this season. As to are Embuemos, and he is playing out of position as a striker for Brentford whilst Tony is serving his ban. So I don't think you can moan at the 6.5 million price tag we've been given for him. To be honest, he feels like a little bit of a no-brainer. At this point, I'd like to just say that I am getting all of my stats from my sponsors of this video, fancyfootballfix.com. If you haven't already, please do go check them out. You can use all of the features on their website at the moment, including the premium ones, for free all the way until the first game week. That's pretty handy. 
Up front, I've gone all in with three slightly pricey strikers. Haaland, of course, picks himself. Please, if you're new to this game, just pick him. It is not big and it is not clever to try anything different or go without him. Just get him in your teams and have fun elsewhere, is what I say. I, like many others, have sided with Jesus. He seems a bit of a popular pick. He did have the best XG per 90 of any Arsenal player and the fifth best in the league last season. I think he did a little bit too much tracking back, if I'm honest. And I do think he's a bit of a rotation risk this season. And to be honest, pre-season hasn't really made me any easier on either of those worries at the moment. But... Arsenal do have great fixtures and he is a good way into that Arsenal attack. He did get an assist the other night, so I'm not completely ruling him out yet. He is in my first draft. He could definitely end up staying there. My punt for the start of the season at the moment is Nunes. Now, I was burnt by him last season. However, with no Liverpool coverage in this team, especially no Mo Salah, I am a little worried. However, Nunes could be the way into this Liverpool side without spending the hefty price tag. Okay, so we have to take in consideration that those teams were lesser teams, but you know what? Confidence is confidence. So the pluses with this team are that I have balance. I have three Arsenal, three United and three City, which were all on my checklist as were at least one Brighton and one Liverpool player. Of course, Salah, Trent and Jota are all in consideration for me, but so is my budget. They are not cheap players. As is maybe a Chelsea player. I really like the look of them this pre-season. Nkugu maybe could take Jesus's or Nunes's place, seen as Nunes was the punt. Maybe Nkugu could be that punt instead. As always, at the start of the season, it's best to have some popular picks peppered with a few differentials to have a bit of fun because that is what FPL is all about, having some fun. And I'm hoping to bring you a lot more of that on this channel this season. So if this has helped you and you've enjoyed the video, then please do like and subscribe. Join the Nim fam. Let's try hit 10K subscribers this season. That would be really amazing. Until next time, Nymphria out.